and welcome to another Total AV tutorial video. Today we're going to be looking over some of the system tune-up tools within Total AV for Windows. Um, many users contact us thinking they do have a virus when in fact their computer's just getting a little bit old, just needs a little bit of TLC, um, and these system tune-up tools really help to uh, help to do that. So you join me on a Windows machine with Total AV open. And if we hover over the uh, tachometer icon, we see the uh, system tune-up menu. So let's start by looking at Junk Cleaner to start with. So once clicked on, it's as simple as just clicking Start Scan. And after a few minutes, um, depending on how much data you've actually got stored in your computer, you'll see a set of items similar to this. And as you can see, We've got a section for cached Windows updates. So every time you update your Windows computer, there are sort of residual files left over that are not no longer needed that can be removed. Not many in this case because we're on quite a new computer, but if you've had a machine that you've had Windows 7 on, then Windows 8, and maybe even Windows 10 on top of that, and you've never cleared this out, it's likely you're going to have a lot of junk files there, which we uh, or which Total AV detects and can safely remove. Then we've got the recycle bin. We're all guilty of leaving this overflowing. Um, as you can see now, we've got a few items in there. Um, and temporary files. So these, these are all sorts of files that are left by applications and software on your computer, things that just aren't needed anymore, um, that can be removed and they, it takes up a bit of space. And finally, this one that's, that's empty for me because we're on quite a new computer here um, is Windows error reporting files. So You've probably experienced a pesky dialog box at some point when you've uh, been using your computer that tells you that an application has crashed or that software's not working or, or some sort of dialog that prevents you um, carrying on what you're doing on your computer. Nearly every time that occurs, there's log files that are being written um, onto your machine. So if uh, someone in the know wanted to go and see why that crash has happened or they might even ask you for it if you report it to them um, they can go in and, and see exactly why the crash occurred um, and quite often these log files just sit there they, they don't get cleared out um, and they can take up a lot of hard disk space so that's why we've included this on the junk file scan so as I say I'm on quite a modern computer here so I've not got the best of examples but you can see it's even on a new computer you know it's picked up over 60 megabytes of data. Um, so yeah, you can choose to um, clear these or you can choose not to, completely up to you. There's there's nothing here that's, um, you know, if you're using Recycle Bin properly, um, there's nothing, there's no damage that's gonna occur here by clearing any of these files. You're not gonna lose anything um, precious to you. It's, it is literally just junk that's built up on the computer. So what, once the scan's run, you can literally just click clean selected and within a matter of seconds um, it will it will be removed. So let's move on to the next one. So again on the system tune up menu, let's click duplicate file finder. Simple case of clicking start scan again, and just to explain what this is going to do, it's going to look over all of your um, documents folders um, and your desktop folders and look for any files that appear to be identical. So to explain that in a bit more depth, let's let's have a look at this computer. Um, you're probably as guilty as I am of using the internet and downloading things that, that end up in your downloads folder, like these this picture in this document here, and then editing it or sending it to someone else or whatever, and, and then actually ending up with it back in your your regular documents folder and this downloads folder can really build up in in size after a while um, and then the the other the other thing I'm I'm certainly guilty of is um, copying things from USB drives uh, like flash drives uh, onto my machine in a rush uh, because I know I'm gonna need it later on and then leaving these sort of these these dumps of files on my machine even though I'm you know, moving all the files into my my other actual personal folders, I tend to just leave that data duplicated on on my hard drive. Um, so that's where Total AV 
uh, duplicate file finder comes in. So if we click on start scan, again it's going to take a little while depending on how much data you've got on the machine, but it will eventually show you a screen like this where it shows you um, any duplicates it's found. So in our case we've got a image file, uh, yeah, image file here, holiday snap and a document. So if we press those little tree icons um, we can actually see you know we've got those two duplicates and we can look at them they are as we see identical we can see the paths that they're located at so there's one there in documents there's one there in downloads and similar thing for the documents you can you can actually click on these links here the path if you're not sure you can have a look and go and look at the, the document itself um, but the idea here is to look, look through what's been found, make the decision um, whether you need both copies or not, and then you can choose to delete one. So we're going to delete a couple of duplicates there. Uh, I suppose the other thing I should point out is it's possible to auto select duplicates as well. So you can set criteria, you know, if you want the oldest of the of the duplicates or the newest or the oldest modified date. You can choose to include photos, documents, videos, or all files, untick those as, as appropriate. And once you've selected the duplicates that you you know want to remove, just a case of clicking delete selected, you get this confirmation window just saying look, these are the file paths of the files that are going to be deleted. Click on delete and with a matter of seconds it's done and you will clear up space on your hard drive. So frequently we get customers talking about the, the usefulness of this if they're um, photographers or you know keen photographers. Uh, often it's very easy to build up uh, duplicate libraries of photos across your hard drive. Um, so that's where this comes in very handy. Okay, so the next system tune-up tool we're going to look at is Startup Manager. We will come back to application and installer in just a moment. So just like the ones before, once you click it in the menu, it's a case of starting a scan. It will take uh, probably about under 30 seconds to, to complete this one. It's just going to look through all the applications that you've got set to run on the computer at startup. And the reason we've got this in the software is this is a really useful thing to, to scan and to highlight applications that perhaps you don't need to be starting up when your computer starts. The reason you want to do this is because this can not only slow the speed the computer starts up at, but if you're not using some of these applications throughout the day, it's going to be using memory, using CPU throughout the day and slowing your computer down overall. So we're looking at some of the, the worst offenders on Windows on this computer. So iTunes runs at startup if you have that installed and if you're not listening to music all day why would you want it running in the background so we're going to disable that one same applies for OneDrive which is a tool I, I don't use but comes pre-installed on, on Windows so I don't need that at startup and the same with Skype I, I occasionally uh, make video calls using Skype but I, I don't need it running all the time and finally the same with Spotify so simply by disabling them on that toggle that stops them loading up at startup and hopefully my computer will be that little bit quicker not only starting up but throughout the day. So that brings me nicely on to application uninstaller is exactly what, what it's called. It allows you to easily access uh, the uninstallers for various software you have installed. So if we, if we click on start scan looks through all the applications that are installed on the computer and the ones we've literally just dealt with in Startup Manager are of course listed so you can see iTunes there um, and Spotify so I've actually recently just stopped using Spotify in favour of iTunes so I'm, I'm going to remove that from the computer altogether because I no longer need it so really good thing to keep your eye on over time is is the applications you've got installed and to remove any you don't use um, numerous benefits you're gonna have more room on your hard drive by removing applications you don't use 
you're going to prevent applications from opening at random times and trying to update that you don't use, getting in the way of uh, what you're, you know, the main reason you're using your computer. Um, th those are the, the main two, really. And as you've just seen, I've just easily removed Spotify. Um, and next time, or, or when this completes, sorry, it will be completely removed. When I restart, I won't be bothered by, by Spotify any further on this computer. So that's just taking a moment to remove it. And there we go. So the final system tune-up tool is Browser Cleanup. Just like the others, simple case of starting a scan. And this will look through all the browsers that you have installed on the computer and look for any sort of temporary internet files and history items and cookies and all the little things that every time you browse a website that you end up storing on your computer. So as you can see here on this machine I've got Google Chrome and I have Internet Explorer um, and there are some history items and uh, some cookies stored for these browsers. So n not a bad habit to get into at all is just clearing this out. Um, might be something you don't, you don't want to do. You're, you know you can untick it or you can choose not to carry out this scan. Um, but you know, most of the time, especially cookies, are just temporary data that's um, that's sitting there using up space on your on your hard drive. And co cookies, especially, are also communicating with other websites. Um, for example, uh, every time you search for a product, maybe on Google or on Amazon, that's being stored in a cookie that Amazon or Google are going to share with with other shops and and other e-commerce stores. So you may have noticed ads that sort of follow you around the web and advertise specific items that you've searched for before. That's why, because you've got a cookie with some with one of these websites that's being shared. So that might be a reason that you, you want to clear out these cookies. So it's just a case of clicking clean again and Total AV does all the hard work. And once it's complete, that's it. So that pretty much covers the tools in System Tune-Up. Um, these are all about alleviating space on your hard drive and um, speeding up the way your computer starts up and, and just generally how quick it runs throughout the day. If you are interested in finding out more about ways to speed up your computer and alleviate space on your hard drive, please visit our knowledge base. Um, we have some brilliant articles about speeding Windows up. Um, and that is about all for now. So thank you very much for watching and goodbye.